Across Pakistan, floodwaters are receding. But U.S. sailors and Marines are redoubling their efforts, getting life-saving food and supplies into the most remote and inaccessible areas of the country. Right now we've got almost 300 uh, sailors and Marines operating across the length of Pakistan. Places like Ghazi, where we have had uh, up to uh, 11 aircraft operating at any one time. C-130s like the one behind me that have been flying up and down to deliver aid, all the way down to Panawakia, which we have another base of operations, helicopters operating, trying to help out in the Sindh province. So we've been working sailors and Marines uh, the length and breadth of uh, Pakistan in response for this crisis. Heavy flooding in Pakistan's mountainous north destroyed or damaged many of the roads and bridges there, rendering airlift the only means for delivery of relief supplies. We flew humanitarian supplies, a uh, load of about 15,000 pounds of uh, flour from all over the world, Canada, U.S., USAID, and uh, some parts of Europe into uh, Gilgit, which is uh, a field in northern Pakistan up in the Himalayas. It's uh, one of two towns that have been uh, hit pretty hard due to the flooding knocking out the uh, uh, roads and the bridges that lead uh, normal uh, ground traffic to get up there. So all their, uh, their food and their supplies have been primarily coming by air. Flying into uh, to Gilgit the first time is uh, definitely uh, intimidating. It's a very short strip at a very high altitude with very, very high mountains around it. It was a new experience, uh, but it was uh, one of the most entertaining approaches that I've flown in this airplane. Oh, we had great support from the Pakistanis. They came out there and they helped us right away. Uh, it was basically a good group effort. They were just handing them off, nice line going, and we just set it off to the side. We didn't have the support of a uh, forklift or conventional means like that, but we did what we could with what we had, and we just took it off. Flooding in southern Pakistan is extensive, necessitating the need to establish a remote airfield in the region to more quickly distribute aid. In about a week, and actually less than a week, they built up a, uh, a base that did not have a lot of aviation operations going on and had facilities that had not been used in a while. Um, they moved in there, established base operations, and started flying tens of thousands of pounds of humanitarian supplies in the Sin province. Many farms and villages at times were completely submerged, leaving only islands of land and making most delivery methods unusable. We've been providing uh, the assistance out to these areas, a lot of isolated villages, um, places where you can't land a heavy lift helicopter, you certainly can't land a plane. Uh, the uh, reliable CH-46 from Vietnam is still flying, and uh, they were able to operate and go to these berms and other places just to deliver desperately needed food. Local farmers and villagers, some isolated for weeks, were eager to see marine helicopters, loaded with food and supplies flying their way. Members of the Pakistani military flew alongside U.S. air crews, helping in any way they could. This is a humanitarian mission for us. The uh, Pakistanis have provided security at the landing zones uh, because a lot of the places where they deliver food are small isolated villages and uh, places that are cut off uh, from any road network because of the flooding still had not receded yet. With tons of cargo already delivered, countless numbers of people helped, Navy and Marine efforts continue, proving again that the U.S. will always be there to help an ally in need. Uh, it's, it's challenging and uh, as Marines we're always looking for more challenging things. It was definitely a good experience. I mean, I feel like we're, we're helping each other out here, and that's, that's the biggest thing, is that we can establish that relationship with each other. They really need our help. This is a, a close partner of the United States, and the work that they're doing, that all of the sailors, Marines, soldiers, and uh, the airmen are doing, is strategically important, and it's personally important, down to individuals. I mean, individual Pakistani appreciates it. For Absent Public Affairs, I'm Tech Sergeant Mike Smith.